So this is the finished wreath, the coral wreath with, or the coral monogram, the double monogram with the fish and the coral wreath. And I wanted to um, just show all the little details and people seem to always ask about details like this. So I figured I would just do a little video. It's kind of fun. Um, so first of all, this is 11 by 14 and it is actually mounted on um, uncut mat board. So it's really rigid. And then I put different layers. Let us see, you can see the different layers of cardstock over it just to kind of give the, the background some color variation. You can see up here, it's a darker blue and I, cause I cut out this kind of um, half circle just to make the, the center, central area brighter. And then you can see on the edges, it's a little bit deeper blue. And this right here is hidden by the frame. I had, I kind of plotted it to come up so that, would, so that it wouldn't show the seam. Um, and this seat, there's a seam here between another darker blue, which is covered once the frame is on it. All right, so let's see where to begin here. Um, and there's also a seam here, and I covered those with, with, um, with these. So, um, this is, so this is basically bonus content, um, for all my little patron people. Um, this is done in multiple layers. Let me go ahead and pick it up here. You can see it's quite thick. There's, um, areas where it approaches one full inch deep. Um, I use these cutouts of coral to kind of make it look wispy and, but I wanted the color to match or almost just slightly be darker than the background. Um, so it showed, showed off a little bit and I wanted it to kind of come forward and that's how I, I just kind of inserted it underneath these shapes. I, these are just shapes that I, that I cut out like little mushroom shapes. And I thought they'd be in a good coral shape and I filled it with my scrunchie technique or my, um, crinkle poppy technique. Let's see here. So I put these, um, on directly onto the cardstock background to give a quarter inch underlayment underneath the fish. The fish sat up off it and they looked dimensional so you can see your, I can put my finger finger underneath them. I wanted it to, to be multi-dimensional. Um, I really, I wanted to, I, I put the, the, the rocks in just to give it a, some extra texture and to, I didn't really know, I mean I was just trying to kind of get it filled in with, with various things to make it look like kind of a, a tropical reef or you know like um, like an aquarium scene. Um, these are just I don't, you really can't tell on this, but let me see if I can tip it on the side and you can see, but you can see these are, um, these are varying heights. I used off paper, uh, paper that was wider at one end and narrower at another. So these are kind of concave, like little suckers, like on a, like a, like a suction cup on, a, on an octopus. Um, these are actually crinkle poppies that I had made for one of my tutorials and I was like, Hey, they look like great organic structures. So I grabbed them. These, I made these in 2020 and I was like, Hey, th these are awesome to incorporate. And if you notice that these here are also crinkle poppies that I made for my, um, for one of my tutorials. And I st stuck those on there cause I think that they just make really great coral looking things. Um, wherever I had seams that I wanted to cover, I try at the very end, I added these, uh, strips that were just crimped and kind of on their side. And I thought they looked very coral-esque. This is three eighths inch paper. This is quarter inch paper. So it's varying widths. Um, these are the big anemones that I created. These are actually the very first thing I created for the entire thing. Um, these are just domed tight coils that I glued all together. Man, it's really warm in this, in this studio today. Let's see here. These are beehive um, technique, just outlined and then kind of just made into very various organic shapes. And these are, again, my crinkle poppies, but they're um, two, two different colors. These are tight coils that are domed, and I'll show you, they're, they're all 
You can see how it's domed, and I made them kind of, whoops, I made them kind of funky, so they look like little snails. So these are supposed to be little snails, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, I have six little snails, and they're all, they're all domed. They're quite cute. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, this right here, these are all just the quarter inch, and I just glued them directly at this line that I drew, which indicated where the interior of the frame was going to be, and I'll show you this up here. Let me grab it. Ugh. So you see that lip on the inside of the frame right here? This actually comes out. This piece right here comes out, and it creates a little lip to put the picture on. Um, so I took this out of the frame and I and I and then I used a pencil to kind of make a line along the edge, so I knew exactly where I could work and where I couldn't work. All right, let's see. So I really didn't have a place to put my signature, so I hid my signature behind this, behind these um, this seaweed here which I thought was kind of a cute idea. And these are just little tubes. They, they move, but they're, oops, <laughs> looks like I gotta glue that sucker in. Whoopsie, I just pulled it apart. Let's stick that back in. We'll make sure we glue that tomorrow. Um, this is a little organic looking structure. Um, let's see what else is in here. Okay, so for the fish, it's a monogram, but I didn't, I wanted the, the fish to look kind of more natural. I didn't really like, I didn't want to just put a big white letter in here or any colored letters. So what I did was this. Um, one of the people's name was Ryan and it's an R with a Y and an A and an N. So that's an actual name that I built in there. And over here, it's an A and a D and an A and an M. That's Adam. So it's Ryan and Adam. These are just eighth inch strips that I tapered and then kind of, you know, spread out and put in just to look like um, some sea grasses. And of course, I had to add more of these. The only part that I that I wish that I hadn't done. It was kind of dark in the living room, so I really wasn't, I really didn't get a good sense of what this color was. This is kind of, it's kind of a homely color. It doesn't, it's not as bright or as primary looking as the rest of them. But they were already glued in, and it's like, you know, everything in the ocean is different colored, so what does it matter? These are just little, um, I just used scissors to cut into some 3 8 inch paper, and then I just kind of glued them all together and, um, twisted them to make these little, I don't know what you'd call them. Maybe they're like tube worms or something. And the tails are just crimped paper. I wanted to try to do those parts really simply. And down here I had this kind of seam where the seaweed joint, you know, glued down and I wanted it hidden because you actually can kind of see that with the frame like that. So I put this row of just tight coils, all just various sizes. I, I wanted, I didn't want them to look all the same. Um, and then I just kind of added some of these pieces to go around the top. Um, I just crimped, used a really, really big crimp for the white around here. I left everything else open. This super duper dark blue is this gorgeous, um, I think it's called Lake Superior and it's from Little Circles and I'm addicted to it. I I have a lot of it because I've ordered ordered it in advance because I'm, I'm terrified of it going out of stock permanently. So anyways, that's the whole piece. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I, um, if you have any questions about how I made anything, let me know. Um, I'm going to, you know, this will just be for, for you guys. I'm going to post a kind of a pared down version for my actual pages.